Hello everyone, this is Rob, Helix Technologies. This is just a quick overview video on our new Helix Delta T online conveyor design software found at www.helixconveyor.com. So this is a web-based software. I'm using a Chrome browser, you can use Edge, Firefox, or the new Chrome, Chromium Edge. So the idea is you register your account and you sign in and you can do, you can create conveyors, design conveyors, you can share the conveyors with other users, uh, print reports. So let's just dive straight in. So I've signed in and I'll just go to, I'll just open a demo conveyor. So these are the demo conveyors run by Helix Technologies. This is our go-to demo conveyor. It's a 280 meter long high lift conveyor. If I hover, hover over the conveyor here, I've, I've got my design comments on these different conveyors. I'll open this one up and wait for it to load. So once it's loaded, I can see our basic conveyor profile sketch here. So we use a tab system, so each tab's got a different page inputs or outputs. So this is our main page we call it. Our, it's got our, pro, our drawing tab, it's got our profile sketch, our scale drawings of the conveyor. This is a 3D scale drawing where we can look at the profile of the conveyor. This is a good check to check the conveyor after we've entered the geometry of the conveyor. Um, enter our XYZ coordinates in our coordinates tab, table tab, and we've also got our wrap angles, our pulley directions, and our screen X, Y, X, Z coordinates, which are these coordinates here for the profile sketch. The X, Y, Z coordinates are the actual con conveyor component coordinates. Uh, on this tab, we've also got our design summary table here, which lists some important information such as absorb power, install power. I've got our bait belt safety factor here, our selected belt, belt speed, and capacity. Uh, we've also got our reports tab here, which lists all the individual reports. You can print each report individually, or you can print a combined reports which prints all these reports. We've also got a few settings on our settings tab. So looking at our project tab, this is where we input our, our conveyor name, project number and the category number. So in your My Conveyor list, each of your conveyors is categorized or grouped by the category name. You can also choose your company logo here, which appears on the reports. And going on to our materials tab, we can select our material. We can open open our database, select one of our pre-selected materials here. We can search for iron ore, and then we can use use that material if we, if we choose it. Our belts can select our belt, enter our belt speed, design capacity, and so on here. We've also got our belt details tab here, which more uh, we enter more specific details on the belt we're using. We can also select from from our database of belts here. After you've entered your belt can select our idlers. We've got carry idlers and return idlers. And then you select your take up. This is a 26.7 ton take up. And we select our drives. Some conveyors have multiple drives. We control what equipment we have on each drive on this tab. We enter our traction details, wrap angle of the drive pulleys here. Our starting torque factors for our starting calculations and select our motors again we've got a database of motors you can use these or you can enter your own motor details here uh, 
fluid couplings, gearboxes, high speed, low speed, brakes and holdbacks. They all have individual databases so you can again you can use our equipment or or you can enter your own you can also auto choose auto select where the program will choose from the select database a suitable suitable motor or fluid coupling so after you've entered all your drives information you can enter your horizontal curves if if the conveyor has horizontal curves you can do each individual horizontal curve calculation here and print a report this is our quick calculation this tab we call it where we've got feeder calculations discharge trajectories transitions we've got a few little pulley pulley calculations pulley traction also got some general calculations, some general, some trigonometry calculations, and a motor power calculation we use often when we're calibrating a, a existing conveyor using real life, real life data. Uh, our data page. This is used for. This is an outputs page, and it's useful for when you want to get some information into Excel spreadsheet, just highlight what you want and copy and paste it into Excel. This is our dynamics page, dynamic analysis page for the dynamic analysis sub subscribers. Here we input our dynamic analysis inputs and select our starter for our drive. You can view the starters curve here and perform your dynamic analysis calculation and print the reports. So for static analysis, once we've entered all our details, we can calculate the conveyor. We've got three different calculation methods, ISO 5048, the SEMA and the viscoelastic calculation method. So after we've done the static analysis calculations, we can look at our reports. You can either save reports the PDF or view them straight in your browser and then print them from there. The uh, This is the combined report which just compiles all these individual reports into one or you can select each individual report. The reports are quite comprehensive and show a lot of information, uh, a lot of calculated values and input values. For example, you can print out report collating all the bar graphs. So this is the belt tension at each point along the conveyor for each of the different load cases. And for example, running full, running empty, we got starting and we've got braking and coasting. And there's a lot of other reports here like design summary, we've got drive take up and drive traction reports, the starting and stopping reports and our equipment reports showing drive details, motor details. So you can log on and have a look at the demo conveyors and print the reports. You don't need a subscribe subscription for that. You just need to register and log in. Okay, so thanks for watching our quick introduction video on Helix Conveyor found at www.helixconveyor.com and I hope to see you online soon. Thanks.